So I'm uh, making this bracket that's gonna attach this pole here, screws into the, whatever you call this, cart or whatever it is. Then I'm gonna make an angle iron bracket that attaches to each one of the tops of these bolt heads and then attaches to here. I might also do some kind of diagonal bracing. And effectively what I'm going to do is I'm cutting out a 90 degree notch and then I'm going to bend this at 90 degrees and then weld it. So I have that notch cut out and now I have it in the vise and I'm just going to bend this should more or less bend into a decent right angle without too much deformity. It's not a uh, exact 90 degree. In fact, it's quite a bit off. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more out of this notch so I can bend better. Okay, so I have this bracket made and this is roughly how it's going to go. It's going to fit up against this, this guy right here. It's going to get welded there. Then it's going to weld onto each of these bolts. And it's going to have to be creative, I guess. I'm going to grind off the top of these because I think they're galvanized. So you want to clean that stuff off. Uh, this is just mild steel, so this should be fine. I'm going to probably clean it up a little bit, but just to make the welds nicer. But then I'm just going to tack weld all these on. And the idea is then this will rotate off and go into kind of a locked position to the side here. So I just finished welding this up. I welded these joints here and then the bolts and then against this pipe so the idea is so I can just swing this off and it'll stay out of the way when I'm dealing with the crucible or stirring it okay here's the initial firing up of this uh, propane burner Hello. that's Hi. Connor that's Hello, Connor in this I already have this guy on I have it in there I'm gonna turn the pressure up you can hear the, the gas coming I have my got this turned on now you can uh, open this up and let's a little air through oh you gotta watch you don't put it out I guess all right so I have the burner in here I have it pushed pretty far forward so I'm gonna pull it back a little bit doesn't need to be that far in there we go notice the how it's going around in a, in a circular motion once you pull it back that choke once you pull the choke off it really turns into a jet. See, I pulled the choke up. That's a little air in. You gotta watch you don't put too much. It just kind of swirls. So I'm gonna just let it heat up and dry out. Alright, I have the uh, lid on here and uh, just low pressure. Still have the choke on it. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. And you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just kind of swirling around circular motion. I can see it, Daddy. Yep. It, it, it takes a curve and a curve and a curve. Right. Mm -hmm. See, and then when we want to open this up, we just go like this. We lift it up a little bit, and then we just rest it down here again. You can see the some of the moisture coming off of this. No, you no, you need to 
not touch it though, okay? This is super hot, man. And then we're just gonna let this heat up for a while. Just let it run and run and run. I've had this burn in a couple hours now and uh, it went from being kind of a dark gray to a white inside and it is glowing very steadily right now uh, everything is hot on this so the burner stays cool except the very end which is super super hot and uh, the propane was just about probably ready to start sputtering because it's getting pretty darn cold well I uh, melted down a few aluminum cans as my initial uh, christening for this furnace and poured one ingot and it's probably going to be the ugliest thing I've ever done but it felt like a triumph, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. While you're making this furnace and when you start using it, always make sure to wear eye protection. You probably want to wear a leather apron, uh, leather gloves, hard boots, preferably with a steel toe, preferably leather. Try to not wear anything that's flammable. These are really high temperatures and you could get really, really hurt. I'm gonna throw this into the snow and let it cool off. Show you this ingot. You hear it? <laughs> Sizzling. And then I'm hoping it'll just pop out because it'll contract a little. Let's see. Still, still hot. It's not, not quite ready yet. You gotta watch out when you have this metal melted in the liquid state that you don't get any of this snow or rain into your crucible or onto your pour because it can pop and explode. When it's solidified, it's easier to quench it with ice or snow or water. It won't crack and pop as much. I think I finally got it loose, so let's just pop it out. There's my very first ingot. That's after I've had the snow on it for a while and cooled it off. And I think it contracted and then finally was able to get popped out with a little help from tools. Well, it's super ugly. Looks like a, an aluminum muffin. Probably doesn't taste as good. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be showing you how to do all kinds of things.